Good afternoon. everybody. Welcome to this lightning talk. Our next speaker is uh, Hildebert Humendanza, talking about OSIS. Give him a big hand, please. Thank you. Um, I'm going to talk about OSIS. And uh, I have a very short um, presentation about myself, just to give you a hint. Uh, I'm a I started my career in programming in, in Java in 1998, and it was my first experience programming. And my first program was an applet to show graphic uh, charts. And I, I've worked with Java since then until uh, I was hired by University Catholique de Louvain to actually rescue a project. So uh, I, because of my background with Java, 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 I, I was hired there to save this project. So I worked very hard for quite two year, quite some times, two years, working hard to save this project from, from failure. And uh, actually, I didn't succeed. That's why I'm here. And the project was like working, 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 no progress. So what happens when you don't succeed is this technical decisions come up down. So hierarchy, authorities try to push some technologies so you, you actually have to listen and do what they want, otherwise you cannot continue. So that's what's happened in our case. Hierarchy imposed a technology and then was we, we were scared Abandon everything, all Java stuff. He write everything in something new. That's very scary. So, but the thing is, uh, lesson learned was that actually we were uh, quite happy with the new thing. So, the new thing was Python in the whole platform that comes with it. And we actually are doing much better today with Python than with Java before. So it was a good pressure. And what we are doing with Python is actually a new open source project called uh, OSIS. So OSIS is an initiative, open source initiative from University Catholic de Louvain to rethink how the university works. I'm talking about the administrative part how to register students, how to, <clears throat> to organize classes and um, teachers, allocate students in classes, print the diploma, uh, certificates, and everything from the administrative part. So OSIS is a product, open source product, to manage universities or higher education institutions. So in order to replace the old system, we have to rethink the way we work. And the way to do that was to be completely open. So we could have in contributions not only from our uh, usual members of, of the administrative and bureaucratic members, but also from teachers, students. So now they can say how they want to use their applications. They can, we can listen to them and they can contribute. So OSIS opened the door for um, students, teachers, and the whole academic community. What we are doing now is modernizing how we work, how the process of the university, and put them into OSIS. What is actually happening also is OSIS is actually inspiring students and teachers to provide some additional services to students. Everything is happening at the same time, actually. And also, departments of the university, uh, instead of asking, asking, asking to add something new, they are actually doing it, which is something that never happened before. <clears throat> we are strongly uh, investing strongly in open source. So the whole stack that runs OSIS is 100% open source. 
everything is open source, from open Nebula until the, the user interface, everything is open. Uh, and we desperately want to share it with other universities. So we want to, you maybe, we profit from this experience. For the moment, two universities uh, are developing and using this project. It's Université Catholique de Louvain, the main sponsor, and Université Saint Louis. Both universities are talking about merge and, and, and stuff like that nowadays. But actually, the discussion to contribute to Aziz happened a lot of time before. So like one year and a half before all these discussions. So um, even if they don't merge, some we will continue in the project, we'll develop, we'll continue contributing. <coughs> this is the user interface. And the first feedback we had was, it is clean. It is easy to memorize. It is easy to navigate. It is far easier than the previous version that you have to know a lot about the domain in order to uh, use it. Now we deliver only the necessary, only the service that they need. We don't do much more because they assimilate easier if we do, do it simple. <clears throat> this internal page that um, one of the first implementations in the, in the project was the scoring coding. So teachers uh, everywhere in the world and, and also in the university, they encode the scores of the students directly into OZs. And then it saves a lot of time from, from all departments and teachers. It was a, 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 a revolution in terms of scoring uh, encoding in the university. This is OSIS, but we also have a portal version. So OSIS is also available for, um, you know, we have back office and front office. So we saw back office, now we are, so we see the, the front office, which deals with inscription, uh, uh, subscription and registration, admission process, and so on. So <coughs> during this experience, we actually, are moving from Java to Python. And it has been an amazing experience. After years developing Java and going to Python, I changed my mind like water. It's amazing. Uh, I'm not saying that Python is a great, fantastic language. I'm saying that you get your stuff done with Python. That's it. So we managed to solve all our major problems, scalability problems, everything we had in the past with Java. Six months after adopting Python, we solved all of them. And so we, we are astonished. Even more excited about Django, because all this stuff we had to write ourselves manually. We had uh, ready to use in Django. So it was uh, amazing. Uh, so I, I really recommend it, and it changed the way we think about software. So we also had the transition from proprietary to open source, and it was not easy because people who used, used to develop closed code, they keep thinking like that. So they started putting a hard-coded reference to internal services. They forget to comment, uh, <coughs> forget to to put uh, to remove uh, dirty code, they forget comments, they forget the license. So they were working like before, but now we have to see the quality of the code much more, this is much more important than before. So after some times, the, the team was adapted easily. So it's another, another experience. The code is much more clear than before. I'm not saying that the best code in the world, but it's much better. So people are learning how to code better nowadays than before. <clears throat> and the motivation comes naturally. So what happens is, is people are working without no pressure, even during their uh, free time and free um, uh, holidays. So 
I, I have comments during the weekend. I have comments uh, all the time. It never happened before. Now they are actually uh, doing things that we, we never expected. And uh, it's amazing. They just don't stop coding. Contribution is the, the main f aspect of value. So nowadays we have four full-time developer, five full-time developers paid full-time, and then we have fifth, uh, 13 additional contributors, students, personal, external people. <clears throat> and we need more two guys or two girls to join our team in the, uh, for, as soon as possible to help us to, to do it faster than before. So instead of paying license, we are creating jobs. That's what we think about open source. We prefer spend money in opportunities. Even a consultant can, can come and help us to develop better Python code, Django code. So we are paying someone for, for doing the job, not a license that we don't see the, 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 the value. A group of faculties get together to develop a, um, an additional application to manage uh, dissertations. It never happened before, so we had a, a huge contribution from them. Faculty of Medicine, con medicine contributed with a, a whole new uh, module for internships. We had an administrative department completely isolated from our department who developed a, a model for, for, to manage our systems. And we actually finished a master thesis, thesis last year. We have two master theses ongoing about the, the whole thing, OZ's community, open source, and so on. And we are writing right now a scientific paper with KU Leuven, which is the other university from the Dutch part. So uh, it's amazing, just one year. Actually, the first release of OSIS came out on 31 January last year. We are now celebrating the first anniversary here in this talk. So it's a quite good result so far. Also, there is a product developed by students. They created this thing called Ingenious, which is online uh, coding tests. So we are going to integrate with OZs. So students who perform tests using these two, the, the, the scores will be injected directly into OZs automatically. So the students are busy developing the integration right now. And this is the first time uh, we heard about something developed by a student, which is actually going to be integrated with the, the the, f the staff at the university, uh, it's really exciting. So in terms of, of architecture, we take care to keep OZs completely isolated so we don't make reference to internal stuff. So in this case here, we have uh, the two systems, OZs and OZs portal, and they are completely independent. So if OZs goes down, OZs portal keeps working if or, or, or this portal goes down, or this keep working normally. So they are isolated, but they share the same kind of data. They use the same bat database, but different data sets. And they, they, it's to improve performance. Finally, from the internal part, the internal stuff we have, we use a ESB to isolate all the complexity inside and avoid that OZs get busy with SAP, Moodle, and other stuff. So we consume and provide REST standard data so they, 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 they can manage, manage it without any direct reference. Everything is open source, so we have some products here, uh, open source products we are proud to use. And uh, we, are, we would love to share the experience with each one. And uh, they are really great. They are solving big problems. And that's my talk. Thank you very much. And I'm free to <coughs> for questions.